Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this Stevie Nicks inspired shawl. Um, so it's got feathers on it, and it's got beads on it, it's got bling on it, more feathers and tassels and all kinds of stuff. Um, it's actually a very easy shawl to make and you can, don't have to put all this stuff on it. If you don't want to, you can just make the shawl itself. Um, I just thought it'd be, someone asked me if I would make a Stevie Nicks inspired shawl, so I took, I like Stevie Nicks, and I took a lot, uh, I looked at all the shawls from all her, uh, you know, videos and whatnot, and I just kind of took inspiration from them. I know that she likes bling and feathers, so do I. So, this was what I kind of came up with. So, um, the shawl here is about eight foot across, and from here the top down to point um and, and that's including the very bottom of the fringe the tassels is about 55 inches you can make yours as big or as small as you'd like all right so i'm going to go ahead and show you the items that i used i bought everything from amazon not the yarn but everything else from amazon you don't have to use any of it like i said you can just make the shawl and you can make it as big as you want um and you could do yours differently whatever inspires you this is just kind of what i liked so um all right let's let me go ahead and show you what i got all right so please remember this video is just a demonstration um on how to do it and all the information that you're going to need on the tutorial that i use to my tutorial and how i changed it up and all that kind of stuff is going to be in the description box and if i repeat any information now that you see later in the video it's just because i recorded this over like i don't know a week time span week and a half different days so um anyways so i used i'm gonna put links to every single uh piece of stuff that you see on the shawl in the description box it all came from amazon and remember you don't have to use this stuff okay you don't have to but if you want to the links will be there so I use these what's called happy feathers um, and I will leave and that's what's right here okay and I used four packs I'll put I'll put that in the description and then um, the bling here that you see there I don't even know the name of it but it's right here um, and actually I got one and then I I needed about a foot and a half more, so I had to buy another one. But hey, I got some left here. I'll just want to see what it is. One big solid strand of, of bling. Don't have to use it though, but link will be below. I'll, it'll be the the blingy strands of beads or bling, blingy strands of bling. I don't know what I'll call it. Um, and then the boa that is on top. I had to get two of those. Um, I didn't use all the second, but I did have to cut some of the second one off, as you can see. So, that is what is on the top. Now, at the beginning of the video, oh, I'm sorry. Also, another thing here. There are tassels. Um, I'm going to flip it over because I don't know why this is on here. Flip it over. It's kind of awkward because it's big. And that's why it's, I'm having a little... And I don't have a lot of room on my desk, which makes it even harder. I put these on the back, so because they were longer than the feathers and the beads. These tassels right here, I don't have um, any left to show you, but um, I will put a link below to them. It was just like one big thing of a roll of tassels like this, and I doubled them up at the bottom. So that's what you're seeing. It's in the very back, and then the feathers, and then it was the diamonds diamond bling went next so that's how let me hold it up here i know it's hard to see in the pictures it's hard to see everywhere because it's just so there we go and like i said this is this costume piece type of thing i don't the people are like it's going to be so heavy and all kinds of stuff i made it simply because i wanted to you know it's just um you know i just wanted to do it i like stevie nicks and it was it was a lot of fun to decorate it and try to make something I thought that she she would wear. Not that I don't think she would, but you know, it's it's cool. So so yes, those tassels I'll put those below. Um, just took me one pack of those. 
And then in the beginning of the video, you're going to see me when I start to put this stuff on. You're going to see me put this right here. The strand of bling at the top. And I did do that. It's it's here. But then I put there 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 it is. But then I decided later that I want to put feathers on top. So actually that piece of bling is useless. Unless you don't want to put the feathers on top. Because it's it looked cool like that. And then, then that piece of bling is also pretty. Okay? I'll put a link to that in case you want to do that because you'll be able to see that in the video. And then the beads are just, there's no rhyme or reason. I'll put a link. I got two different sets of beads that I put on. I'll put links to those. Here's one. And then I got this big bag of a whole bunch of different little studs too. Now, um, I did use a hot glue and a hot glue gun to put all this stuff on. Remember, because um, I'm, it's more like decorative for me. It was a fun project to make. Um, you know, just something fun to do. I wanted to do it because I like, like I said, I like Stevie Nicks and I just, it's just something. Sometimes you got to do something that even though you may not wear it, um, and it might just be a costume piece. Maybe I'll wear it one day when I take my kids trick or treating and I'll be Stevie Nicks. <laughs> um, but you know, sometimes you got to do something that you really want to do. That's fun. Even though it may not be used a lot i do collect shawls and i have a huge collection of my own shawls that i've cr created um over my span of many many years of crochet so this will just go in with those i don't wear any of those either so i really it is no different all right so let's go remember links below to all this stuff you don't have to use any of it but i'm going to put the links to the colors that i have here but if you click on them they'll probably be other colors in case you use a different color and if you don't want to use any of this stuff, by all means, do not. You use whatever you want, all right? So I'm going to set this to the side. And then I'm going to, when I turn the camera back on, it's actually going to be another day. I'll probably be <laughs> saying some of the same stuff. But it's going to tell you what yarn and everything that I used. All right, thank you for your patience. And cause like I said, this was recorded over a week and a half or so, I think. So different days, different times, said different things. All right, let's do it. Hi everybody, so I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to do a straight up tutorial, but I will show you how I did this. Uh, this is this an uh, Stevie Nicks inspired crochet shawl that I'm doing. It's, of course, it's not done yet. I'm starting from the beginning here. Someone had asked me if I would, uh, you know, do a Stevie Nicks inspired shawl. And I like Stevie Nicks a lot, of course. And so I took a lot of look, a look at a lot of her shawls, and I noticed that she does like a lot of of, of feathers and um, fur and bling and whatnot, and and so forth. So, um, and a lot of hers are made of fabric. So this is just like my, you know, I just took inspiration from her fabric ones, and I went from there. So this is not going to look anything like any of hers. It's just was inspired by hers how about that because she don't have like any crochet ones maybe a couple from the 70s or something but most of hers are like fabric so if you do want to follow along with me i can tell you what i did and show you the things that i that i got so this pattern right here is actually a uh shawl pattern that i have on my channel but i did change it up a bit and i can tell you how i changed it right quick so uh i'll leave a link below in the description box now this is the annabelle shawl except for the amount of rows in between the granny stitch and the regular double crochets are different than what is in the tutorial. Um, I'm not certain how many is in the tutorial, um, but I will leave a link to that tutorial below. And I will tell you right now that there are 15 rows of granny uh, here and then nine rows of double, and then it's repeated. 15 rows of granny, nine rows of double, and then it's repeated again. So it is, you make yours as big as you want, but this is from one point to one point, it's about 100 inches. You know, Stevie Nicks like them big old shells. But I'm gonna be putting stuff at the bottom as well, feathers and whatnot, and beads and everything, uh, you know, to make it even longer. It's a pretty big shawl already, but she wore them big. So, 
like I said, the link below will be the tutorial for the Annabelle. And I will also leave, uh, like I said, how many rows I put in. different di The difference in the amount of rows. It was made the exact same. It's just the amount of rows were different. Um, and it's a different yarn that was used. All right. So I'll show you that real quick. Now, remember, this is only uh, inspiration that I took from her uh, shawl, uh, fabric shawl designs. You do not have to do it like mine. You can if you want, or you could do it however you'd like. But this is the uh, what I use. It's a Puff Flower Mega Yarn Cake. It comes from the PuffFlower.com. This is the Celebration Cake. This was specially made for me when I hit a million subscribers. Um, but she does sell these on her website as well. It is 1,500 meters. So about 1,683 yards of a DK acrylic yarn. As you can see, it's just gold and gold sparkles. It took all this and then um, she has cakes of this straight up sparkle. It took a little bit of some of the sparkle as well. Uh, more sparkle. To get it, uh, you know, the right size at the bottom. But of course, you make it as big as you want. So, and use whatever yarn you want, whatever weight you want. I did use a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. All right. Well, uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. Um, I'm gonna be using while well, my hot glue gun is heating up. Um, what I'm going to do now. Remember, you do not have to do this. You. If you want to do a Stevie Nicks inspire shawl, take a look at her shawls and, you know, let them inspire you in any way that you'd like. But if you want to do it like me, I will leave links to all the stuff below that I'm using uh, for this particular one here. All the stuff that you see here came from Amazon other than the yarn. Okay, um, so this um, is going to be, I'm just going to show you real quick while we're, like I said, while we're waiting on that hot glue gun to heat up. It's going to be glued across the top of the shawl. Um, I think that this is fine because it's rather minimal, you know. Um, and I'm not planning on, like, using this as a piece that I'm going to be, like, wearing around. A you know, it's like a, this kind of a inspirational piece. And, um, you know, just wanted to do it up kind of what I thought maybe Stevie Nicks would like. So I'll be using hot glue because nothing works better with yarn than hot glue. They, I always say they are a match made in heaven. Once they are together, they are together forever. <laughs> so I'll do this. Hopefully I have enough of it all the way across the very top of the shawl. And I'm not worried about my hair getting caught in it because it's quite dainty. So Plus, like I said, I'm not going to be, like, flashing it around a lot. It's more of a, more of a, I don't know, to swear it on special occasions or a costume or something. I don't know, something like that, you know. But if you want to make yours or you want to wear it all the time, by all means, you put whatever you want to decorate yours with. So that'll be a going across the top. I guess that I'm waiting on my hot glue to get done. And then um, all along the whole entire entirety of the shawl, I will be randomly hot gluing on these uh, studs, rhinestones and studs, just, you know, just for the heck of it. So I have these, which, like I said, they will just be randomly placed. There will be no certain order for them, no rhyme or reason. I'll just hot glue them all over the place to where it's so blinged out. So, um, this is like a mashup of Stevie Nicks and Bod because me, because I love the bling and, uh, I like that a lot and I think she did too. So those will be all over it, but not only that, I have these as well. Remember, you don't have to use any of these. These have holes for so, so that you can sew them on. I'm not going to do that. These are going to be hot glued on as well at random all over the place um there's all different sizes and shapes of these i'll probably mainly use the bigger ones mostly but so it's going to be covered in those as well with hot using hot glue okay links to those below only if you're interested it's not anything that you do. remember you don't have to do it like me 
can though, but you don't have to. You don't even have to do it. Or you could just make the shell by itself, if you like. It's pretty like that too. All right, sorry about that. And then across the bottom is where it's gonna get bling, 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 iced out, iced out. Okay, so um, I did take a great deal of notice that uh, Stevie Nicks like feathers, feathers. It did take me a couple tries to get the right color of feathers, but I did. So, uh, um, these those came from Amazon as well. So, I had to order two packs because my shawl is pretty big. No, sorry. I had to order four. Four packs. <laughs> so, what this, these will go. I'm going to double them up. So, this is one thing of feathers right here. I'm not sure how many yards it is, but... But I'm going to double it up like this. And it's going to be hot glued on the bottom, all across the bottom of the shawl on both sides. Right? I'm just trying to give you a little bit of an envision of it. My hot glue is getting ready. But all across the bottom. And then, I know it's hard to a picture, isn't it? On, on, once that is hot glued on. I got this big bad boy of bling to put on top of the feathers across the bottom. And no, it's not going to be extremely heavy. I have some people ask. I will give a weight though of it if anybody would be interested in that. But like I said, mine's more of a costume piece, you know, um, just something I wanted to do because um, I like Stevie Nicks with the Mac and whatnot and I just, she's a beautiful lady. Wonderful singer. And thought she had good taste in shawls. Anyways, so I think I might make I don't know if I'll put that ribbon under behind or not, but this then this will go on top of the feathers. Like that. I know it's hard to envision it because it's not finished. But it will all be glued on and that will be the bottom. I'm gonna start the gluing. Alright, so I'll take a little I'm gonna start gluing. This is one big old long piece. I don't know if I have enough, but I sure hope that I do. Um, if not, I'll have to buy another. I'm going to start gluing because my glue gun is ready. And then uh, I'll stop periodically and show you my progress real quick, okay? Alright, so as you can see, I've got the uh, top uh, rhinestone all the way across the top. There's a little bit left. I just clipped it off. I'm actually going to save this for another tutorial. Then I'm going to put some tassels on. I'm going to use that to wrap the tassels in. And then I'm taking these beads and I'm just randomly putting them, or, or whatever these are, but beads, yeah. Randomly putting them all over the place. Like I said, no rhyme or reason. It'll look better when it's done. There's a lot to do. And I did measure, and I don't think I'm going to have quite enough of this to make it all the way around. So I'll have to order another one of those. But I do have enough feathers. But, so, I'm going to let my, I unplugged my um, hot glue gun for a minute. Because I kept burning my hands. And I'm going to let this rest. My kids want me to fix them. Uh, some supper so I'm gonna go do that and then uh, when I get done with that I'll fire up my hot glue gun again and I'll continue across um, blinging it out remember you don't have to do any of this this is just, it's fun it's what I want to do to it's my inspiration what I want it to look like but feel free to do it if you wish I'm not putting any any on the the where this is the sparkly row I'm not putting any there but up here I am but like I said you do yours how you'd like all right so I just went ahead and really just finished mine I went ahead and put um the boa at the top which covered up the bling that I put there but that's okay um I was gonna put some more bling but I decided not to and down here so I told you that I was gonna do the feathers which I did and then I put the rhinestones on top of that and then what I did was flip the shawl over on its back side and I put the two rows or I doubled up the tassels and I glued them on the back of the shawl so they would be um, behind the feathers since they were longer so and that's it that's all I did remember you do whatever you want though all right I can't wait to see yours so 
Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Um, remember though, I just made this as like costume purposes, just for fun, you know? So yeah. if you don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I know it was just kind of a demo. It really wasn't a video, but surely hopefully you found some inspiration from it. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Take care. Bye.